All right, let's redo that. So, um, we have a really strong RSI for the uh, past couple of days. I know that I told you guys about it a week ago uh, when it was in about this area at the uh, on the MACD when it was at uh, 584 or so. Um, and now we went up to 1431. So what I'm going to show you is the craziness of how I look at stuff over here on this chart. So just want to go back to 26 November on 17. So I saw over here on the RSI is it got it literally got it hit where the exact same ones were RSI that we're at now. So and that went from Bitcoin from uh, about 5700 to all the way to um, peaked at 19. So when I do my own charts, obviously I got some crazy, crazy stuff going on over here. Uh, the second one I like to show you is, uh, oops, let me undo that. This one right here. So we're going to scroll in over there. Um, and that is this point right here. That's So that's the RSI where it got really close, right? But we're looking at the MACD. The MACD didn't really hit that high, but it's okay. We still did an amazing jump from um, about right there to all the way up. So 4,900 to 13,900. Um, and that was from right here, about right here, to there. So the second one, and then it fell off. So now you have the RSI that hit exactly where we are now. It hit again. It got close, but you see the trend went up, and then it went down. It lost volume. Um, and then the second or third one that I saw is it got close, but it hit right here. So in that area, it hit. We'll just go over this chart. Close this one. Um, so we hit all the way over here. Sorry, I was messing with something. So anyway, we hit the RSI. It was just like it was getting close. It's getting close. It's getting close. It, you know, that took a span of. I got to roll scroll in on this chart. We went. Took a. Uh, 123 days to go from uh, 22 to all the way over there to, to 65 so I'll just chart it over here for you guys it's a lot easier so we went from right here it's about right there actually no the top is over here my bad so we jumped $47,000 in a period of 122 days from 12 December 20 to uh, 15 April the next one obviously you had a big gain right here the RSI but check that out it didn't go up that far though so every single time it, it's hitting this it's going up so we got one this is as far back as Google can go it's back I'm, I'm sure there's further detail but this is just for uh, just a real quick live show All right, so now the RSI hit again right now. So we're going to take kind of break it down a little. So what we do, I told you on the, it was what, 13th, 14th last week-ish? I don't know, I look at the chart that I made already. I got a lot of crazy lines going on. So right here, it was on the eighth of it actually hit the, on the eighth of January. So eighth of January. So what do we got? Eighth of January, right there. Where am I drawing go? There we go. So if we went from 
from there to there now. We're sitting at only uh, four, two weeks. Let's $200. That range going up, momentum up, 65 degrees. We'll take a look at the ones over here that did the same exact. So we'll come back over here, All right? Not to say that, you know, this Bitcoin is going to happen. You know, I'm just a guy that I just inter try to interpret charts. That. Why did I not do it? Oh, oh I did it. Right, right, that's why. It's 49. We're above that already. Gents, check that out. We're set up. Okay, well, I'll zoom back out. So. We're 71%. This is at 66. That's over a course of 90 days, so let's push that to 90 days. All right. Give me one second. I'll text somebody. But, you know, like I said, I'm just a guy that tries to interpret stuff. I'm not the, uh, you do what you do with your money. I'm mean, not your financial advisor, as everybody says. So, all right, just uh, you know, waiting on a couple more people to join. If people do, it is what it is, all right. What the fuck? Oop. Why is it not posting my thing? Oh, there it is. Alright. So anyway, um, I'm going to do another live chat uh, later this week with a couple people. So anyway, so um, do I not have edit the need? HVN, there we go. All right. So if we got, um, you know, a little bit of here, that went 68%, 123 days. We're gonna chart this one over here. I'll take it and do. Um, it, it didn't even get to it though. Isn't that crazy? But like I said, every time it hits hitting it and it get coming close, it's going pretty. It it it's blew up twice. Um, so we're gonna take it from right here. All right, and we'll do ninety days out. So we'll do 90, and then we're going to do another one at 120. One twenty. So theoretically, if Bitcoin went the same direction the last two times, one, it got here and here, but uh, that was a nice little bull run. I forgot to mention about that one. But it did only hit it once, so it went from... 49 to 13 for it it dropped the way down to about 4,000 and it came back up so so it did a volume of um, that much over the course of 122 days and it went started from uh, I think if I click it it'll tell me anyway so 16 topped out at 64 over here it went to 68 so let's do the 90 day mark. What do we have to do in order to hit that? Um, to hit the high, which was right there. And line this up real quick.
I mean, a Bitcoin honestly is going to do this in general. It's going to go up. It's going to go down a little. It's going to trade sideways, and then it broke out. So now we're hitting the resistances of July last year, right? So in order for us to hit what we did before, if we just put the, we'll say that did a 66 and this did a, um, Forty-three. So seventy-six, eighty-one. This one was already at a eighty-three. That it's going tracking right now. That was uh, when I posted that before. Uh, we'll do the projection. from here at the exactly 50 to that we're going to remark um, indicators at 83 that's crazy that's how it would literally have to go actually I would have to zoom out a little to get that and that one did 58 so we'll do 58 marker the 58 it will change the color of that the bad boy Your, um, what angle is that one? I think that was 83. No, 56. So, yeah, that was the second one. So, what I'll do is I will take. I thought I put another line in here. Yeah, it didn't. Alright. doesn't like me clicking the buttons it is what it is that's what it did last time in 90 days so to cross it would be 43 and that was the beginning of that wave right had to beat some resistance that resistance was right about there and the uh, bull run of 21 the bull run of later that year um, but you know, this is just my two cents. So uh, this is how I kind of mark it. My chart looks like this, and it's insane looking. I just look at, I look at the different numbers on how they do everything. I just mark it, and I don't change it. And I got a bunch of, um, a bunch of different layouts that I use and stuff too. So, but you know, is what it is. Just wanted to get this out there real quick. Twenty minute video. I hope you like it. Alright guys, deuces.